We'll see how he gets on in the big arena in the big match. So here we go. It's the gold medal match. Chirot in the white. Addis in the red. Chirot to go first. Does he realise he's 16 in the biggest arena in archery yet? Like, wow. Well, there's the first 10 for Chirot. Nine or a 10 will get the set for the youngster. And 10, 10, 10. Well, let's see if he can carry it on here. Look at uh, Clement's pinky. <laughs> wow, he's just rolling through here. Just, just looks like practice. Chirot's just not quite finding his range at the moment. No, he's pulling them left. Like this lad. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Five tens on the trot to start a match. Not phased at all, is he? No. Oh. First miss there, which means it'll be a shared set. No. Well, he can continue to score as heavily as he has here. And he'll be in plenty of big events around the world for many years to come. So Chirot's yeah. got his hands full here. Three set points to one. In favour of the 16-year-old. And another slight uh, radar miss there for Chirot. <laughs> 18 months out from Paris Olympics what a dream for France Wow, he is just a metronome at the moment. He is just nailing it every time. I'm just thinking Chiron needs a 10 more than ever now, and he gets one. So yep. Adis now needs a 10 for a 5-1 lead. And he oh. just misses. He could have won, but, you know, there's no point thinking about it. It's just all about the next arrow. So, Chiro down 4-2. Starting to find his range now. That's three tens in a row for Thomas Chirot. Look at that. That first target face of Addis is, would all be compound tens. That's a really good observation. 
Because remember, the compound 10 ring is half the size yep. of the recurve one. Sharon now needs a 10 here to stay alive in the match. Well, he guarantee his survival, and he's got it. That's great archery from him. What an important three arrows. That Addis comes back with a 10 as well. Two perfect sets there. So here we are, fifth and final set of the men's recurve gold medal match. Baptiste Addis of France, the 16 year old, up 5 3 on this man right here, Thomas Chirot. Both archers off perfect sets in the fourth. Mm. Wow, Chiro is really going well now. It's seven tens in a row. Yep. Look at that. But back comes Addis. So Sharon needs a 10 here to have any chance. He's got it. He's got it. So now Addis for the match. He needs a 10. Otherwise, we're going to a shoot off. Oh, you just oh he's tell. just missed. Addis had this match wrapped up. He could have won it in three straight sets. Yeah. 6 0. So here Body we go. One arrow. Yep. Yes, indeed. One arrow closest to the center wins. Shiro to go first. Oh, it's not quite dead center, but it's very, very close. Ardis is going to have to go dead center here. Oh, he's just decided. I don't know if he's got it. I reckon Chiro might be just a smidgen closer. That, that, that's going to have to be measured officially. That could be reshoot territory. Everyone looking down at the target end. That is Adisa's arrow, but Chiro's been given the win. Yep. What a tremendous win for him. Unbelievable. What a comeback in that match from Chiro. He started really out of form and then just finished with nine tens in a row thanks to that shoot-off arrow. And when he needed it, he found the ultimate shot, didn't he?